Pika is a powerful text-to-video platform that can unleash your creativity simply by typing. Today, I will teach you step-by-step -step how to use Pika. This is the most comprehensive tutorial. You can follow my steps and operate along. We can search for Pika on Google, find the official website, and click the invite button to enter Pika's official server. If you want to use Pika, you must first have your own Discord account. Please make sure you are prepared before starting. After entering the server, you must agree to their terms of use and read their rules before using it. We can see that there are many channels in the server. Each channel corresponds to different usage scenarios. You can check it according to your own needs. It should be noted here that you cannot use bots to create videos on channels other than generate. If you want to create privately, first click on the public creation channel, right-click on the PikaBot and select Message. This will open a direct message with the PikaBot. Type Create to start making videos. All you need to do is enter your prompt in the chat box and send it to get the desired video. You can see that we got a three-second video, a woman with white hair, with flowers and butterflies. Here you can also choose to upload an image as a reference, and Pika will use your image as the first frame for diffusion. Upload a reference image so you can get results closer to what you have in mind. If you already have an ideal image to start with, you can choose to use Dodge Animate. You don't need to enter a prompt, just upload your image to the chat box, click Send, and you can get a pretty good video. If you are very satisfied with the result, you can give it a thumbs up. If you think the result is unsatisfactory, you can give feedback by giving it a thumbs down and click the Regenerate button, which allows Pika to immediately make another video using the same prompt and parameters. This is the Remix button, which opens an edit prompt box for you to make changes, fix errors, and try other things. You can try generating it multiple times until you are satisfied. She looks more realistic now. It's important to note that you should avoid using phrases like animate this image, natural movement, or make it move, as such generic statements often don't work. Of course, animate can also add prompts. Describing the image you uploaded, subject and background, and the specific movement you want. If you want to delete the image, click this button and type yes, and Pika will no longer save this image. Note that once deleted, the video cannot be restored. Pika currently supports the following optional parameters. Frames per second, motion, guidance scale, negative prompt, aspect ratio, seed, and camera. First, I generated a video without any parameters using the prompt. A boat wobbling in the sea, thunder lightning, clouds move. Next, we click on Remix and input FPS, which stands for frames per second. The higher the value, the smoother the video. The video defaults to 24 frames, which is the maximum frame rate currently for Pika. We can compare the difference between FPS 8 and FPS 24. It can be observed that Pika's default 24 frames per second is much smoother than the 8 frames per second. We click the Remix button again and input Motion, which represents the intensity of the movement. The higher the value, the more intense the motion in the video. Pika's default setting is 1, and it can be set up to 4. From the video, we can see that the range and frequency of motion in the video on the right are both greater than that on the left. Next, we input GSC, which stands for Adjusting the Guidance Scale. The higher the value, the more related it is to the text. Pika defaults to 12, and it's recommended to use numbers between 8 and 24. When I set the GS higher, I noticed that the boat shaking more severely because I included wobbling in the prompt. Neg means negative prompt, indicating the content you don't want to appear in the video. Here I input waves to try to prevent them from appearing in the scene. You can see that the splashes have become very small, but they haven't completely disappeared. This is because elements that originally exist in the scene are hard to remove. The function of AR is to adjust the aspect ratio of the video, such as 16.9, 916, 1, 1, 405. The PikaBot will by default infer the aspect ratio from the image you attached. I entered 16.9 and 916 here, and you can clearly see that the size of the video is different from the one above. Seed represents more consistent generation. Using the same seed, the images will be very similar. By default, it's set to random. The seed number for each generated video can be found at the end of its file name. The most interesting part is here. 
Pika's camera. This is a very powerful and fun feature. First, we generate a video without the camera. Then click Remix and sequentially input camera pan right, pan left, pan up, pan down. Pika can operate in multi-threading, so we try to save time. Let's take a look at the effect of the lens panning in different directions. This is really cool. The panning of the viewpoint brings a more stunning effect to the video. If you think the camera movement is not obvious, you can input motion. It can not only enhance the action, but also make the camera move faster. As you can see, the camera in this video moves faster than in the other videos. Additionally, we can input two non-conflicting directions at the same time, such as right up and left down. Here I generated a puppy sitting on the grass with many butterflies around. Let's see what it looks like after adding the camera panning. Next, let's look at zooming in and out of the lens. We generated a ballet dancer standing among flowers, enter zoom out or zoom in. This is a video without camera settings, and we can see that the entire video's camera angle is fixed, making it feel trapped. This is the camera zoom out. This is the camera zoom in. Again, we got stunning results. Lastly, we need to mention the camera rotation, which is also very interesting. You can choose to rotate counterclockwise or clockwise. When inputting, you can use abbreviations, CW or ACW or CCW. All right, when you've reached this point, congratulations. You've learned how to use Pika for creation. Thank you for watching, and go ahead and bring your imagination to life.